activity. And then, of course, all this stuff around here, your pretty open space and your plaza. Well, and when you do the presentation, that space. might be one of the things that you want to stress are the various themes throughout the entire uh, yeah. document. Is it, it is a dry erase marker. This issue of connectivity is a very, that seems to be a very uh, user spread. I know. Realistic and more a current type of objective. Well, I think that's what we're trying to make it more of a sense of community, you know, more of a walkable community. You can visit with your neighbors, you can get to your right. neighbors. Get to and from, pedestrian accessibility. Right now we have a lot of developments that are like this. And then maybe you have the strip mall. What's your and, green lines for? And gated. And that's where, that's how you get by. You know what I mean? So you're coming out of your gated area to here to this access road to a more local road to get to shopping. Whereas now you have more access. You have pedestrian trails. You have a congregation place. You have open space. This is all in the big, big picture here. But it creates a much more pedestrian, bike friendly, Plan, yeah. Yeah. Livable, yeah. livable yeah. plan community. Can we have a picture, uh, some kind of a picture sure. with this? We, do yeah, we have the one with the pedestrian. We, we don't like is, that This one. is pointing more towards the vehicle, too, and again, looking at just these. Um, anyway, we've I think tried to labor it. Sorry. Keep going. Sorry so, the do we like the text? Do we like the connectivity I, requirements? It makes sense to me. Makes sense. What are some of the data communities that you have? Emergency entrance or access is kind of like a landscaped area that the emergency vehicle can drive through. Sure. Take a look. You just mowed down the flower beds or something? Well, <laughs> it's, it's basically it's right. designed for, for emergency entrance or exit, but it's landscape where you really can't tell it. But if a vehicle needs to go through, it can go through. If, if it would be something that would be aesthetically pleasing, I'm just thinking of the ones that I can think of, like the Metal Ridge one. It's, it's and usually yeah, they, it they sticks do, out. They are a landscape where it was bad. Yeah, it right was bad. Well, that's what I can think of. Just for emergency. Yeah. It's not usually at all. Can staff look into that and just mm -hmm. because um, <coughs> that's a good question. What are we doing now? Um, um, talking about, yes. Okay. But, but some kind of an emergency access for, for emergency vehicles onto the site that's not on site. So you put on -site. thorn bushes up there and let them. Because I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> basically, I think it, it's a things. connection. And it's like a. Is there a road there? It, it's a like a con concrete or brick, some kind of a structure that can be dri can be driven on. But you can also have like grass going on it too. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing like in Florida, my when my son used to go to school down there. I walk around this neighborhood, I can see these areas. I thought, what the heck is that? So that's emergency. Does it look nice? It's nice. I mean, you can, but once you drove through it, you'd probably have to be landscape again, but it's just for emergency <laughs> access to it. Taking down the two buildings. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, building organization. Okay, I'm coming. Uh, I'll leave that. Building organization. Okay. You have my pretty one, Diane. Okay. That's okay. Uh, individual buildings and development should be, shall may be oriented as followed. Clustered or grouped to form neighborhoods. And clustering and grouping to form neighborhoods are good on a lot of levels. One, to form neighborhoods. Two, you have open space clearance. Um, organized around a common open space, public open space, i.e. such as the Greenway, natural features located on the site, such as a stream corridor, or community amenities, such as swimming pools and recreational facilities. Let's see, arranged in a manner to the maximum extent possible that encloses required common open areas. The following would be used for this purpose. Primary perimeter streets, including thoroughfares or boundaries, or through access drives. Can I go back to the, to the number one now that the word may. Yeah. May is a little implies that 
they haven't that, that they don't have to do it if they don't want to. So if you want stronger language that needs to be changed, it shall. Yeah, it should be shall because you here's your choices. Yeah, there's some they choices. Should. I understand you have choices, but still you shall choose one of these. Right. Okay. I mean may means I, I don't necessarily have to use those choices in my mind. Change it to shall. Change it to shall. I did circle that. You should be done. Um, now, if you want them to have a choice between the three, then you're going to have, and you want to use the word or after B. Oops, this would be C. And then B would be more like this. This would be the green way or string corridor. So, those would be. Those would be your options. Well, we need to add the word shall, and then after A and B, it should say or, so that they know this is the, this is what you shall do, and here are your choices. Right. This yeah. or this or this or this. Oh, come on. I'm a okay, we all right with that? If we add if shall if, or? If I'm not mistaken, well, I mean, it's fine. B's not saying anything more, realistically. Um, it shall be clustered or grouped into a neighborhood. They're all going to keep exactly what they're doing now because well, which is it, it would just characterize as clustering, which is not characterized well, as clustering. Because clustering is when you're clustering unless houses. You've got we don't have anything for clustering. Unless you've got development A, B, and C here. <clears throat> this guy's starting Greenway plan. Mm -hmm. You've got the middle guy starting a greenway plan. A and C are going to be the boat. And then you'll have this lovely greenway plan. Especially if there's a riparian area or a string corridor already going through there, mm -hmm. your only option will be C. Why would that be your only option? Because you have to work around the string corridor. In the open space requirements? Mm -hmm. Here, you would have maybe some drawing, some mountains in this area. <laughs> some hills in Missouri. This will help accentuate the natural topography. And here, this one's more like if you want a fountain. You know, you want some sort of central seating area, a gazebo with a giant fountain, and everything's going to. Yeah, you know, a top lot in there, picnic tables. So that would be more like that. But this option C in particular. <laughs> Works within. Uh, Is that her calling for the tall That's a planning term. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. I haven't you heard that. You guys came up with no, I loved it. I love tall That's good. <laughs> but I heard that. Okay. Does that make sense? Since we're in <laughs> farmland, we don't have mountains and. But and you're, but you're going to have natural features. I mean, not so everything we'll around here is flat. <laughs> I will show you some of this. Okay, out we're south. Down. <laughs> Everything's flat. But it doesn't have to be anything hilly. I mean, it just well, what doesn't do topography. It could be any kind of it could be, it be something they have open area. They, or it could, could be, be something they have created themselves exactly. on this right. site that they, they can cluster around. It could be a little make yeah, it could be a detention base and they turn into a lovely yeah. lake. Uh, I guess what, what, I'm trying, what I'm trying block. to say is it's no, not <laughs> true clustering. You want to, you want to what, is, what is true clustering? Clustering by, I guess, DNR standards and everything that I've read about it is, where DNR is the main, I've been really pushing clustering for us for years, is where you have narrower streets, you're not having the curb and gutters, concrete curb and gutters is what you have now, <coughs> and you're having areas, say I have a, I have 30 acres where, you know, 15 of it, I'm clustering houses tight together. Uh, you're not having the large lots. Yeah. Uh, you're having smaller streets, um, no curb and gutter, and then where you have a large open area, you're having the other 30% of it, or actually uh, 30 acres of it, large open space areas with bike trails in it. 
you're st still getting the same density if we followed our same restrictions that we have now for 